What's up guys, my name is Adil and in front of you I have Yu-Gi-Oh! Volume 3. This volume contains Volumes 7, 8 and 9. And this is a huge turn a turning point in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Because we finally move on from Season 0 to Season 1 and pretty much we start having dual monsters. And um, I really enjoyed so far Season 0. Nothing crazy, just a bunch of new games that you know, if you never watched Season Zero anime, and you you only grew up watching Season One, the Dual Monsters, it was it's kind of a weird, because you know, uh, Pharaoh he is very very um, dark. <laughs> he he just uses uh, shadow games every time. Like that's that's it. Every time he fights an opponent, shadow game. But now that we start with Season One, we start with Dual Monsters. Uh, pretty much. The beginning of Dual Monsters is really, really interesting because Pegasus comes out of nowhere, challenges Yugi to a duel, to a monster duel, while he was on a tape. Uh, I don't know if it was a VHS tape that he was on, but pretty much he used the power of his Millennium Eye to fight Yugi. Uh, pretty much he can read every Yugi's um, move. and. Um, what he, what he did at the end, he captured Yugi's grandpa uh, into a, a screen, I should say, and uh, he challenged him to come to to his island to compete in a tournament. Um, this tournament is very interesting because the island alone, it's like a huge map for all these um, dual monster, all these duelists, I'm gonna call them. Uh, because each part of the map has specific powers. If you're near water, every aquatic uh, monsters get a boost, and etc. If you're near mountains, all the dragons have powers there, uh, and all of that. So it was really cool to see Yugi uh, fight. Uh, he fought first. Oh my god, I forgot his name. The insect guy. There you go. He fought him. Uh, we finally see uh, Joey's sister. And uh, if you guys knew about Joey's sister, if you didn't know, uh, Joey has a younger sister and they were separated separated when they were younger and she is suffering from a vision loss. Uh, she's gonna go blind soon and uh, the only way they can fix that is a 50-50% chance the surgery might go well. Uh, oh my god, I closed it. So he needs money for her surgery and the surgery can go 50-50 or it's gonna work or it's not gonna work. So, Yugi and Joey, they're, they're both fighting for something. Uh, Yugi's fighting for Grandpa, and uh, Joey's fighting for um, his sister. And it's really cool to see a character that I really love. She was my first ever, like, anime crush, <laughs> whatever. Um, Mai, Mai Valentine. She is... I love her. She, she is badass. And uh, I love to see her. Uh, it was a pleasant surprise to see her. Uh, in these volumes and um, of course we have a secret we have a thief over here he this is Kaiba's young, younger brother uh, ever since Kaiba lost to Yugi he's been in a coma or aka he his soul is in a shadow realm but uh, Yugi had another moment where he was fighting for somebody else not just his grandpa uh, he was fighting for Kaiba's soul and the guy that Stole Kaiba's deck, uh, stole pretty much this kind of an identity, uh, role played, uh, have like a puppet of Kaiba. He pretty much put him into Shadow Realm when he lost. I'm gonna try and find the. There you go. So he he's using like a Kaiba puppet, and uh, after beating, uh, after using the White Dragon on Yugi, um, if you guys know. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil you the future, but there is a huge connection between uh, uh, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and Kaiba. They have deep, deep connection. Um, I, I can't wait to get later, towards the end of the Yugi, uh, towards, the, towards the end of Yu-Gi-Oh! story. Um, you're gonna see a huge reveal. Who, who's behind the, this huge connection between Kaiba and Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and why they have such a connection, and I've really enjoyed every single moment. Uh, I can't wait to get 
Oh my god, there's a mosquito right next to me. Anyways, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna have to kill this guy with one hand. Anyways, Operation Mosquito, he fucking escaped. <laughs> I cannot find him. I don't know where he went, but I'm gonna fucking get him. Uh, but anyways, being that right now we have this tournament arc where they're fighting for star chips. You can see right here, I opened a perfect uh, place. Um, right now, Joey is fighting... Oh, I forgot... I forgot his name, but the guy, this guy, I forgot his name, but he has dinosaur deck, and he does have one of the most iconic um, monsters ever uh, that later Joey's gonna get. I can't wait for that monster to appear, because that monster is one of my favorites, but we'll talk about that monster once it comes out. Uh, in overall, I really enjoyed this story. Uh, I'm glad that we are now in dual monster territory and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun next couple of volumes because they're gonna be full of just action and I'm all down for that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Have a good night. Bye bye.